Hey everyone, it's Brennan with BC Labs, and today I'm doing a quick video on the Ender 3 V2 getting upgraded to a dual Z-axis. I'm making this video specifically because the instructions uh, aren't that clear that are included, so I hope this helps. There are a few screws that need removed. They're holding the X carriage to the block that holds the V wheels, but then you can just remove the tensioner and then remove the X belt from the carriage. You need to shift the X carriage a little bit out of the way so you can remove these extra three bolts. They will be get they will be getting replaced by longer ones. It takes a little bit of work to get the V wheel back on so you can attach the first part of the bracket, but once you do, you can move forward to the next few screws. Then it's pretty easy to get the extra Z motor prepped, just two screws in the top and two on the side that go into some T-nuts, and then you're ready to mount it in place to the frame. You may want to do some adjustment later, it's important to go ahead and tighten up the coupling. Once you get the second Z bracket on, you can start putting the tensioner back on and mount the carriage with those same three screws. Then the next step is just to remount the belt and tighten it.
Just a note, there might be some hot glue on the stepper plugs, so I had to remove mine carefully and then reinsert the new one. Then it's just a matter of hooking up the Z wires. Then the last step is just to add these end caps on the top. Due to the rigidity of this with the rigid couplers, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or not, but it is part of the kit. So I would install them and your mileage may vary. Well, from there, you can run a bed level if you have an auto bed level, or like I do, a CR touch, or you can manually do it, but you're going to need to do something after adding the second rod. You will need to do some adjustment to make sure they're in time with each other as well. Well, I hope this was helpful and answered some of your questions. I hope it provided some clarity that the instructions didn't have. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer. Well, I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks.